Hey, welcome to another video on the Emace Goodie series. Today we're going to talk about a mode called Master. Now, Master essentially lets you control another buffer, which is the slave buffer, and manipulate it via the master, via keys, key bindings, or anything else. I'll quickly demo this out just to give you an idea. It's actually a pretty small minor mode. Uh, let's go ahead, let me focus on Emacs, and let me go to the Django project, and let me open up two buffers side by side. So that's the uh, generics edit functionality, and let me go to the test for that. So one use case that I see is, actually, let me just disable the golden ratio, which enables of, oops, uh, how do I balance windows? Uh, golden ratio, golden ratio mode, there we go and then balance uh, windows. Okay, so there we go. Sorry about that, I have a mode uh, package called golden ratio that automatically resizes window to take up appropriate portion for whichever is on the main focus. But yeah, that's something else. Okay, now back to the regular programming. All right, cool. So we have two buffers, the edit function, the edit buffer, which is over here, and then the, uh, the test file for it. So what I can do to get started is do meta x master mode. So I need to enable that. As you can see in the mini buffer output, it says master mode enabled in the current buffer. Now, now that it's enabled, I can set a slave. So I do master set slave. So it's asking me, okay, which buffer do you want to be the slave? And I want the test edit one. So now this buffer on the right side is slave to the buffer on the left. So for example, now with that, I can do key bindings like control N, control, uh, control C, control N, it will, it will scroll down. So as you can see, and then control C, control P will bring it back up. And then of course, control C uh, greater or less than sign, puts it to the top of the buffer and then less than sign all the way to the bottom. So control C greater than, control C less than. So there's things like that. And also control C, control L recenters the buffer, uh, but yes. So that's pretty much um, a quick demo. You can also manually call commands. For example, say master says, and then you, uh, well, right now it's not doing anything because you need to program it, but you can have custom functions where it says, hey, whenever I type this, um, it will relay whatever command you want to do it into the slave buffer. And you'll see it in the code that I'm about to show you or in the, in the functions inside that master file. So let's go ahead and jump into the master mode file. So as you can see right here, the key bindings, there you go. And let's see, let's jump into master. Yes, so make a buffer master over another buffer. So yes, the example that the commentary says that it's um, if you have a SQL mode and then another SQL output, you just make it master slave. So that's a pretty, pretty reasonable reason as to when to use this or use case. But yes, there are no customizations because uh, it's a simply, it's a pretty small mode. It's uh, less than 150 lines. So yeah, you can read it and see how it works. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Now, one thing that the, let's see, where was it master? Oh yeah, you can call this to show which buffer is a slave in case you have a bunch and you forgot. <laughs> so you can do that. But let me see, oops, uh, master says uh, defon. So yeah, right here, you can use this one, this function to create your own custom functions to display in the slave buffer. But that is essentially how you do it. So as you can see, all of these functions that say recenter and the buffer, all these are all using master says, and they're just passing the function that they want to, the action that they want to happen in the other buffer. So that's an easy way or an easy way to see how it's done. But yeah, this is pretty much master mode. I don't think I will ever use this because I don't have a lot of use cases for it. Usually I just pop open another buffer and just actually, yeah, because sometimes I do run some SQL commands, but not that often. So perhaps I'll end up using it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, take care.